everybody. Uh, this is our kind of non-traditional, atypical freshman and new student orientation. Uh, so welcome to Lebanon High School. I'm your principal, Scott Walters. And uh, our goal uh, today is to show you this video, give you a little virtual tour of the building, some highlights, some things that you're going to want to know that we get a lot of questions about so that when you come in, you are as comfortable and familiar as possible. Uh, and we're doing that, of course, a little differently this year. So uh, this is our area we call the commons. This is where most students enter the building every day. When you come in uh, to get your schedules and get a little in-person tour of the building, you'll actually enter through the doors in the commons. Uh, this is the first room you're gonna see. If you have ever been to a ball game, a basketball game, a volleyball game, you've probably passed through the commons before. It's a very large, empty room, uh, but it is where a lot of traffic uh, takes place. So uh, we're going to start here, uh, show you around a little bit, and uh, hopefully answer a lot of your questions that you've had throughout the summer as you look forward to a new school year and a new school environment. All right, everybody, this is the guidance office. So when it comes to your schedule or needing to talk to a counselor, then this is where you're going to come. It is on the opposite end of the building from where we just were, the commons. This is actually the front entrance of the school building. So when your parents visit uh, or when uh, anybody comes in this front parking lot, they're going to come in where the main office is, uh, which is right across from the guidance office. So uh, your guidance counselor is dependent on what your last name is. They all work with all grades, 9 through 12. Uh, they work with different parts of the alphabet. All of that is going to be available to you uh, in, the, in the presentation that has been sent to you along with this video. So when you get your schedule, um, remember that no, no two students in the building have the same schedule. It is a kind of tedious process that counselors go through. They have to hand schedule almost every single student's uh, eight classes. And so they work on that all summer. Um, they try to make it so that you don't have to request any kind of changes. Uh, there's not a lot of changes that we grant once school gets started. Uh, but if you do have questions about your schedule, these are the people that you want to see. Uh, so we can pop in and say hello real quick. questions about what the dress code is like at Lebanon High School, what the rules about cell phones are here at LHS, and so I want to go ahead and give that information to you so you can be prepared. Uh, it's very different uh, from middle school, what, from what you're used to. Uh, it may be very different from the previous school you went to if you're a new student and this is a whole new high school for you. So uh, those are the most common questions I get, so I'm going to go ahead and address some things. Uh, highlights on the dress code are uh, that we don't wear hats inside the building, also no hoods, so nothing can really be over your head. Uh, nothing offensive or disruptive on your clothing, so of course any um, references to drugs, alcohol, inappropriate language. Uh, same thing with um, anything that would be considered indecent, so make sure everything is covered the appropriate way for school. We also don't allow blankets in the building, which is a very specific rule that for some reason high schoolers need to hear. Can't bring a blanket in the building, we're not here to take naps. Uh, this year, something I do want to add that you may have read in the re-entry plan is that we uh, are going to be real specific about the types of uh, masks that you're allowed to wear in school. So of course you can wear those uh, blue and white uh, disposable masks. You can wear any kind of face covering or mask that you have that is one solid color. Uh, or you, can, you may have a Lebanon High School mask, a mask that's got the LHS logo or name, and that would be okay. Uh, but any, anything else we're not going to allow as part of our dress code. So um, no fancy colors or cool patterns, and you, may, you or your mom may have spent a lot of time making some very cute masks, and um, we're just not going to wear those to school. Uh, so make sure that you come with an appropriate mask uh, that covers everything up to your nose. Um, in addition, we get a lot of questions about cell phones. So let me go ahead and tell you the school policy at LHS with cell phones. Uh, there are no cell phones allowed. They should not be used during class time. When you are walking in the hallways, you're in the cafeteria eating your breakfast or lunch, 
you can use your phone, um, but once the bell rings for classes start, phones are off. Uh, that time belongs to the teacher. We enforce that very consistently and strictly across the building. Uh, we will also send that out in writing as a reminder to all the parents uh, so that you're very clear on our, our expectations about cell phones. Uh, but those are some very common questions that I want to go ahead and address now so you know what to expect before you ever walk in the door on that first day. You're also going to hear this, students, from every one of your teachers uh, throughout the day, that first day of school as well. day school starts at 750 it goes until 250 we are going to open up the doors in the parking lot uh, for you to start entering the building at 725 uh, so that gives you 25 minutes to get your temperature taken get through the door and get straight to your first block class uh, in years past we've had the doors open a little earlier than that and we held everybody in the commons before we sent them to their first class but we're not holding everybody in large groups this year. So we have delayed uh, that start a little bit. And so we uh, are gonna open these doors at 725, start letting everybody in and send you on to your first class. Uh, when the bell rings at 250 and everyone is exiting, the buses will be out of here by 256. So we are good at uh, making time and need to stick to that routine as much as possible. Of course, nobody panic. Uh, we will be flexible the first few days. We're not going to let the bus leave you because you didn't get out the door fast enough or find the right bus. Uh, but it, when we get into a groove, that is how things will work. Speaking of buses, uh, students coming from LSSD, you do not have the same bus you had in the past. You have a completely new bus, a completely new bus driver, new bus number. The bus even says something different across the side of it. So please know your bus number before you come to school on the first day. We will not be able to go through every single student and tell them what bus they ride before they leave the day for the day. So you can go to the uh, Wilson County Schools homepage, click on the little button that says transportation. It's got a little picture of a school bus. Put your address in. It will tell you what bus you ride, when it comes to your house in the morning, when it will drop you off in the afternoon. But please come to school on the first day knowing which bus you ride. Um, we can't be out in the parking lot trying to dismiss and students coming up to us saying, I don't know what bus I ride. It's not that easy to find out, uh, so just be prepared that first day. Another question I get a lot from new, new students, especially coming from middle school, uh, is about supplies. What school supplies do I need to buy? Where's the school supply list? In high school, those things don't exist. Uh, you have eight different teachers, eight different classes. It would be impossible for us to put out a supply list for every single class we offer in this school. We offer over 300 courses. Uh, so what you just need to do is come to, the, to school on the first day with a piece of paper, notebook, um, something to write with, and a backpack. Every teacher that day will tell you what supplies you need for that class. So you'll just kind of get your list from all your teachers. You'll have time. It's not like you have to show up the very second day of school with all your supplies. Uh, and you'll go get your supplies after that first day. Um, lunch codes. So same thing. Students from LSSD. You have a brand new lunch code. Whatever you use in kindergarten through eighth grade will not work. As a Wilson County student, you have a new code. Your first block teacher on the first day of school will tell you what that lunch code is. If you're coming from one of the other Wilson County schools, your code is the same. You'll need it when you go into the cafeteria for lunch. You will have it before lunch, I promise you. When it comes to lockers, every student in the building does have a locker if you want it. Some students don't want a locker, some do. Your last class of the day will assign a locker to you. They already have locks on them. Uh, you'll get the combination and that will be what you use for the school year. Uh, so there's plenty to go around, not a problem. Let your last block teacher know if that's something you want. They will give you everything you need. Uh, the last thing is your schedule. When you get your schedule, 
you're going to see lots of information. What you need to know is that on the left hand side, you've got Monday through Friday, what the schedule will look like on a traditional uh, scenario. So on Monday, you're actually going to go to all eight of your classes. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, you're going to go to four of those classes. And on Wednesday and Friday, you're going to go to the other four of those classes. So the classes are much shorter on Monday than they are the rest of the week. When you're reading your schedule, you're going to see teacher's name, teacher's room number, the name of the class. Room numbers in this building are A, B, or C, which indicates which floor they are on. The A floor is the first floor. The A floor is the first floor, B is the second, C is the third, um, and then room numbers are 100, 200, 300, depending on what hallway you're on. So if it, the room is A103, you're on the first floor in the 100 hallway. All the classrooms are numbered. When you come in the building with your schedule, you're going to have plenty of time to walk through the building find where you need to be, locate all of your classrooms. They're clearly marked. The teacher's name is outside the door. Uh, you're going to feel a lot better when you actually get to spend a little time in the building next week. All right, Blue Devils, I uh, hope you enjoyed our video. I uh, hope you enjoy your time in the building next week, that we answered a lot of your questions, making you feel a lot more comfortable, and uh, we'll see you next week.